Welcome to the Somerset Coal Canal. Yeah, this is um, this is what they call Poulton Basin. Yeah, so we're coming along to have a look at it today. Um, I have been here before, um, and when I came here before, they would started some restoration work in 2014. Uh, they said they'd be finished uh, by 2015. Let's go and see how they're getting on and what they've been up to. But um, yeah, work originally started here in the 18, early 1800s, so like 1801, uh, I think uh, this bit was completed. And uh, it's got the largest dry dock in England, so uh, should we go and check it out? You can see excavation work has been happening here. They've actually got water into it now and it's running. When I came back last time, this was very shallow and there was no water in it, so I'm quite excited. So behind me, this is uh, this is Poulton Basin. It's where they used to turn their 72 foot coal barges around, or canal boats. Yeah, so they used to come along here, flip them around, and go back to the rafts where they would pick up the coal. Well, this is it. This is the this is the most certainly the largest dry dock in England. So you can see like space for three canal boats there. Um, what would happen is you've got the arch there, the sort of dry dock arch, um, and the boats would have come through that little entrance over there, and it would have been filled up from the canal. And uh, then what they would do is they replace they would replace um, where that arch is. They would replace it with like sleepers and create sort of like a sluice to like trap the water back and obviously then it would carry on staying in the canal. Um, and then down here, I'll come over here from over. Down here, as you can see here, this is, this is where they would have had like another sluice and they would have, uh, they would have, they would have drained it out down there. I'll get the camera out there. And that's where they would have drained the water out. They would have they would drain that out down into the brook and they would have had like wooden sleepers in here um, for, the, for the canal boats to sort of sit on and uh, yeah then they could do their repairs and uh, maybe like sort of, I don't know, whatever, they, whatever they needed to do to the boats. Yeah, but yeah can you imagine that? This is this actually the large, in 1800s this, is, this was built. And, uh, yeah, the largest one, one in England, which is that's amazing. Actually, amazing. I can't wait for them when they completely restore the, the canal and they get a couple of boats in here. I don't know because the, the aim is to link this up to the Editing Haven. So yeah, maybe maybe one day you guys could be on it. In your boat. So I'm just sitting uh, under the bridge. Um, that would have uh, been the entrance to the dry dock and you can see the, the sort of sleepers behind me there that would have been the sort of, uh, sort of seal there to, to trap like sort of like a sluice sort of gate with old railway sleepers or just big chunks of wood cut away and right here you can see the seal from where it would drop down so the boats would come in and then they would drain the water and they're doing some restoration work on the on the bridge here, which looks pretty amazing. Can you see? See it here. Looks really good. Yeah, it was. Uh... <laughs> I, was, I came up here and I was um, chatting to the landowner. He's doing uh, a lot of the restoration um, with a group of volunteers. And uh, he was, I was asking him about, like, oh, so you always knew the sort of dry dock was here and, and the history. He said, well, I knew about the canal, but I didn't even know this was here, he said. And just one day they started digging when they said they wanted to restore the canal. And they started digging and they were like, oh, well, what's this? And I, they, knew, they knew there was a dry dock here, but when they started excavating it, and then they, uh, yeah, and then they discovered that, and then they were like, "Wait a minute, this has got to be 
this is this is big this is pretty big and yeah and it turned out yeah it was the was the largest one so I think you follow it along and just see how much I remember them digging this out yeah this is good how they excavated just dig it out big slough he was going pretty quick, working right into the dark. They wanted, they wanted to get it done. Huh. Look at that. That is that is a bit of Somerset coal right there. Look, look at that. This what this is what it would have been about. This is what it was about right here. This is why this canal is here because of this coal. And I did. They did tell me they've just found tons and tons of coal near the bottom of this canal, and they've they've left some chunks here. Look at that for people to have a look at. Now that was dug out of the ground by a very hard man and his family, maybe. His wife or might have pulled that out and his son or daughter would have opened the doors in the mines. That's what it was about. Black gold. Look at that. Oh, it's a good chunk that. He must have loved that when he got that one. He would, have, he would have had them bigger as well, look at that bit. Look at that, that's it, that's what it's about. Barges, boats and boats. Fill up with that for centuries. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Men at work, yeah, men at work. Right next to the coal, what they were working. Yeah. Oh, that's it then. I'll come back another day and we'll go and check out some other uh, other industrial sites and uh, see some more heritage. That was good that. I can't wait to come back and see it, see the more development. Yeah, let's go somewhere else. Alright, cheers!